Okay, so... Please be advised. The following program is for adult audience only. Explicit language is used. You have been warned. Yep. Mainly Questo. Fuck you. <laughs> Welcome to Let Me Ask You a Question. What episode is this? This episode is Atheism Part 2. The number. No, it, it just counts as three. Come on, man. Don't wreck my, my intro. I'm not wrecking your intro. You just did. You'll be all right. Again, atheism. <laughs> <laughs> all right, part two. And uh, atheism was part three. Check the serial notes. We haven't we got that many episodes out. True, but no, we do have an atheism part three. We just didn't air it yet. Part three? Part two. Part two. Not this one. Remember what we did? Come on, man. We're confusing people. Look, look. Because religion is confusing. <laughs> Give me you an idea. Okay. You're talking with Mike D. Quest. Quest. Amon. Amon is back again. <laughs> hey, folks. It's been a long day. I, I can clearly see that. It has. <laughs> I had a sour amaretto yesterday. That is probably my new favorite drug for right now. It was very good. Very good? It was very good. Uh, that sounds nasty. It what was, is that? What is that? What is it? Almond. It's, like, it's like almond. It's like a drink. It's really sweet, but they mix it with sour and they put it in ice. It was really good. I got it from Horseshoe Casino. It was pretty good. Back to atheism. This is part of atheism. I was sinning. I, I committed a lot of sins that day. I'm just saying. I, I committed a lot of sins. Like I was less than hard. Okay. <laughs> That's was, a different subject. <laughs> and I was drinking. And I was less than. I, I committed like. So many sins yesterday. So many sins. So many sins. I got a lot of sins too. Mm. I think I broke all seven. I almost probably broke all seven. I was very <laughs> proud for I made sure I looked clean coming out the house. I eat I eat so I'm about to continue much. breaking one right now. Oh you with your bacon wrap pizza? Yes. Glutton. Uh, glutton. <laughs> yep. Little Caesars. Gluttony. <laughs> bacon wrap pizza. <laughs> we should get paid for spot advertising now. Sight, no, uh, don't call your lawyers. I was joking. It's a joke. So uh, still, keep a lookout for our Kickstarter page. I don't know. It seems like we're dropping the ball on this one. No, we we getting there, man. We, we're getting there. We're getting it? We're getting it. All right, we're working on it. we just been having some technical issues trying to get it going. Like your face. Oh, funny. <laughs> <laughs> but anyway. But let's dive into the show. So, I'm on. Are you an atheist? So, yes, I am an atheist. Are you a proud atheist? All right, come on. Right here. Atheist power. One of the 20 powers activate? Yeah. In the form of reason. Because <laughs> <laughs> this theist over there. I'm not a theist. Well, according to y'all, I'm one step away from being an atheist. <laughs> Pretty much. So, there's an old atheist joke that says that a deist is just someone who's not old enough to become an atheist yet. <laughs> I mean, he's basically a one step away. A deist is basically a person who believes in God but thinks he's not manifest in the world, which means basically he has no has no take on the world whatsoever. He's like the uh, clockmaker who makes who makes the clock and then it runs on its own. Yeah. So what you're saying is, so I want to work with me that's what a deist is, and that's not too far of a stretch from becoming an atheist. So what you're saying is, I'm one step closer to coming to the dark side. Or the light, the light of reason. Mm, yes. Yeah. <laughs> All in perspective. It is. That's why I believe in the force. I mean, for some people, I think it's just psychologically comforting to 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 say there's a higher power of some sort. No, I think it's. I more think I think that's bad faith. I mean, that is it's two sides. I look at it as some people use it as an excuse for their actions. Many people use it as a justification and an excuse for their actions. Or as an explanation to why their life is bad or the situation going on in the world instead of just putting a finger and just saying, it's you. Like, this this is one thing I don't like. Mm -hmm. When people say, oh, it's the devil doing this and that, and blah, blah, blah. No, bitch. No. <laughs> <laughs> no. Sometimes it's just you with your funky ass attitude, your dumb decisions, your irresponsibility. Sometimes it's just you. Doing dumb stuff and just suffering the consequence from doing that dumb stuff. But as long as you can blame the devil for it, yours are the all responsibility. 
you know what? I, let's all right. So let's 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 think about it this way, because I think a lot of people don't think it from this point of view. What does the devil get by you turning against God? Well, it depends on you ask. I was told by somebody that all the all the devil wanted to prove to God was I can do it better than you, and that. I can do it better than you, and or they're just going to turn away from you because, you know, for whatever sort of reason, because I rebel, so therefore they're going to go. But the point is... So is God, uh, like, Megatron and, and the devil's uh, star screen? Kind of, sort of, yeah. <laughs> kind of, sort of. Because at the, at, at the, the whole thing about it is, there, is that God is, is supposedly... The ultimate good? Yeah, and if you're the ultimate good, so why would you let... But be, but in order for you to be the ultimate good, you need an ultimate evil to make you look good. God is just a con artist. God is a racketeer. He creates a problem just so he can come in and save the day and get a reward from Notice him. the atheist did not say this. This is someone who was supposed to be someone who believes in God. So do you believe that he's evil? My personal belief in a higher power is... My personal, I didn't say I believe in the Judeo Christian God or Allah or Buddha or the Hindu gods. Okay, all I said was I think there's something out there. Now, again, what I believe begins and ends with me. My personal beliefs but, don't uh, not reflect. But what, I, what I'm asking you, do you believe he works for us or against us? You talk, are we talking in the terms of Christianity, for example? I'm not saying necessarily in, in terms in general, of in general. I couldn't tell you. I, I, I just, I honestly, I couldn't tell you. I don't know. Okay, and here's a little tidbit about atheism. The thing is, pretty much all religious people are atheists as well. They're just not atheists about their God. We, I, I, think, I think we discussed something so like that anyway. Wes is clearly would be considered an atheist in, in most respects because he doesn't believe in the Judeo-Christian God, which is Ola, the do, which is the dominant religion in, in, in America. In this, yeah. In mm -hmm. this Ola, Ola, so as far as far as most people concerned would be in this country, he's still an atheist. Now, I won't take it away from that he says he believes in a higher power, but um, atheism is is always like in respect to like. A particular religion or doctrine or so forth. Now you have some who are like me, who pretty much reject all, all forms of uh, deities. of deities, gods, so forth. Now, now if you say God is love, then okay, I'll say okay, sure, I'm fine. But if if you mean it in any sort of sense of it being it supernatural, you. paranormal, basically any sort of psychological being, then I reject it because I just find it abs patently absurd. Well, I for me, whenever you say God is love, I'd be like, prove it. <laughs> no, I'm saying if someone says that as an expression, <laughs> but no, like, but, but then I'll I'll give them that. Or if they say, or if they are what you but call they, a, pan, but, a pantheist, but 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 that says God is nature. Oh, okay. But uh, if they say something like that, so that's like saying the hamster is love. So like, <laughs> you know what I mean? What's the, the difference? Might be love. <laughs> the hamster is love. Is the hamster name love? The hamster might be name love. I believe God is the fuzzy wall. Huh. You stroke the fuzzy wall. You love the fuzzy wall because the fuzzy wall loves you. Okay. <laughs> Borderline issues. <laughs> don't disrespect the fuzzy wall. The fuzzy wall strikes with a vengeance. <laughs> I don't know what the fuzzy wall. Is. I don't even know. <laughs> but that sounds like some private time that you need to have with yourself. <laughs> you never seen Get Him to the Greek? No, I haven't you, seen that. You seen it, right? Yeah. The fuzzy wall is safe, isn't it? It makes you feel safe. You just stroke the fuzzy wall. <laughs> <laughs> okay. But no, like I said, according to many people, I want stuff from being an atheist. Do am I? Would I say I'm an atheist? By some definition, some people say yes because I don't agree with their god. Now, I believe there is a high power, but but here's my thing. But that all automatic. I don't that that all still classifies you as a theist. I know, right? But many times you have said the arguments you make, you're just one step. You are one step. <laughs> you just it just seems like whenever we talk to you about it. And, and, and I'm not trying to convince him or anything about it, but whenever I, I talk to him about it, he's he's almost full atheist view in everything but name. You know, he he does he he he, he disagrees with the Bible. He disagrees with a God being able to interact in reality without obeying the laws of physics. You know, 
And then he, 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 you, you, you look at the likelihood of God, and you, and you're like, eh. Well, and and, and and that's true, and I, and I will test it, and I agree because I do. I mean, for me, for I me think the term has heavy connotation with some people. They're just not willing to. No, I, I really don't care. Like I said, if people consider me atheist. That's your business. I never said I was, and anybody no, you said by, I was, so what? By, by definition, though, you can't be an atheist because you believe that there's a hard being. And that's fine. And I'm all cool with that. I don't, it doesn't bother me because my I, beliefs I, begin and end with me. I, I will classify you as a skeptic theist. Is that even a thing? I just made that up. I'm a new... <laughs> yeah, we created a new trend. We created a new trend. I don't like that because it sounds like the people... It was a Nat Geo show a long time ago about uh-huh. um, UFOs and stuff. And this dumb chick on there called her herself a skeliver, a skeptical believer. To me, that's a just... Skeliver? A skeliver? That's how I saw it off a of skyver. Well, no. I mean, the thing about it is, is if, if, you know, being skepticism is basically well, questioning... Well, yeah, he's basically a religious skeptic, but he's not an atheist. That's that's fine. Yeah. I don't... I don't... Like I said, even if I was... Even if I am or I wasn't, you got to be my friends. Why? Because my beliefs do not dictate how I treat you. And that's and that's fair. And and I feel as though for all religions it should go that way, but in many terms it, it doesn't. It, yeah. And that's fine too. But for me, if according to the Bible in the Old Testament I will go to hell because I'm a bastard. My parents weren't married when I was born, so by definition in the Deuteronomy, I'll be going to hell. And even and none of my descendants will be able to make it in heaven. Of course, with the New Testament, there's a new covenant. All those over rules. But here's the thing. I still cannot accept <laughs> a being who knows everything but created a tree knowing <laughs> that they're going to fuck up. So I'm going to put this tree here, but I know they're going to fuck up. Well, that goes... Um... Now, some, somebody did tell me, well, you can't read the Bible like that. You have to take it as a lesson. And it's fine. Yes, I did learn some lessons about tree. I was how you want to be treated. That's fine and dandy. But... It doesn't take you to read an archaic book that was written by illiterate people, then rewritten by Cain who wanted to leave a legacy behind, then rewritten by racist Mormons, <laughs> <laughs> then rewritten again by another Protestant set Jehovah Witness, <laughs> then rewritten again and taken into another spin by well, Lutherans. Wait. It's absurd. But you all, well, again, everybody knows Christianity is. 40,000 denominations strong. Now everybody knows that. Well, I, I, now you do know. I didn't know that. <laughs> and the Islam has between 60 and 75, according to a Muslim girl I talked to. Is she so, reliable? She's reliable. She's, she, she, Is she a Middle East Muslim? So, she, she grew up in Africa. She, so, she, okay, she, I'll give her that. I was about to say, if she's one of those people that converted in prison or no, 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 father no, no, did. No, 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 no. She, she's from West Africa. She's from, <laughs> Sorry, I'm not going to say the country, <laughs> but she's from West Africa and after talking to her about Islam, she told me that I'm, I'm a, I can't be a free thinker. Why? And is I she, asked her that, she why? Can't? No, she can't. But I asked her, why can't I? Like, I found it, I find out all when people tell me, well, you can't think that or you can't believe that. Why can't I? I thought I had free will. Why can't I do that? Well, that's a different subject. Too. It is a different subject, but it, it it's so many holes in the argument pertaining to Abrahamic religions. And I'm saying Abrahamic because many people like to separate, well, because Christianity is the white man's religion, I'm going to become a, a Muslim. But let's clarify this, because many people are saying to fail to realize that many Africans, especially in the eastern part of Africa, became Muslim because of the Arabic slave trade, which predates the transatlantic slave trade with Europeans. Muslims came in to threaten them. If you're gonna worship our God, and I was told this by Muslim, the three law, the three, the three options are: you worship Allah, you pay us taxes, or we're gonna, or we're gonna go to war. And you, we have seen how Islam has dominated other countries, see like Malaysia, Indonesia, a lot of Southeast Asian countries, eastern part of Africa. They went to war, enslaved these people, and told them, you, if you practice, you cannot practice your thing. You have to convert to us. Many Christians would like to make the argument, well, we don't do that. We preach love. and No, you don't. Look at the Crusades. Look at slavery. Prime examples. So, I think, I feel as though instead of trying to hide these facts that have mm-hmm. happened in the name of Allah, Jehovah, Yahweh, instead of trying to hide them, acknowledge them. Do better. Learn from the errors of your predecessors and do better in this generation. My, my thing about this if you also look that because of the so there's so many denominations just within we can just say within Christianity and we we talk about Christianity because 
It's we're, the most prevalent in America. Yeah, we're here what? in America. You you can't. It's a Christian nation. You can't right? fart without. You know what I mean. I mean, like I said, it's a Christian nation. Hitting the Christian it's, with it. <laughs> I mean, everything, even the laws in this country, were built off of. Um, yeah, Christian. Okay, no, Christian I, okay, I'll, 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 yeah, please let, let get rid of that. I keep okay, telling me, you, stop saying that. You okay, I didn't say Judea. I said white Christian. Wait, let me object to that. Heterosexual Protestants. Because Thomas Bitch. Jefferson addressed addressed this long time ago himself. When even back then, people were saying this was built on upon Christian ideals and so forth. He said no. The Constitution was modeled off of English common law, and English common law. Was based off that ancient Saxon laws. The Saxons predates Christianity arriving in, in the UK. So, and I agree. I'm not taking that away, but I'm saying we look at the ideals in this country, the traditions, some of the laws that have been passed, and this some of the laws that have been passed in this country. Some, but they say, oh, some they're derivatives of their of the faith. They're derivatives of that. Nice example for the gay marriage thing. Many people did not want it because they said it went against Christian values. Not not the law, Christian values. But, but see, what happened is, is that the the initial creation of the laws didn't involve Christianity. We added that in, especially if you want to talk about during the nineteen was it nineteen fifties when um, we were dealing with the Cold War and 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 Russia. Um, and Russia being an atheist, of course, America had to take on the persona of well, we can't be like the godless atheist Russians over there, and then. And so we have to embrace our 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 religions here, that we believe in a higher power. What's the time on the thing? Um, think about. I mean, but just even getting back to it, how can you choose? The right religion out of forty thousand, just with, with Christianity alone. No, does well. Here's the thing, and it's funny because if we want to look at it technically, there are many faiths that predate Christianity. Many. So let's go with this theory that there is a one and only true God, right? Mm -hmm. Let's go with this theory. Can I bring up something relevant really quick? Yeah. yeah. Since you brought up the Arab slave trade, I just like to bring up a not so fun fact that that was still going on up until today in Mauritania. What's the name of that place? Mauritania. Mauritania? It's in North Africa. I probably spelled it wrong, but it's in North Africa. We will find that. Like, they just outlawed it. That's not that new, because a few states, a couple, it was, um, was it Mississippi or Alabama? No, I'm not talking about it being on the books. I mean, they were still actively oh, practicing yeah, slavery. That's, that's crazy, ain't it? Not really. Not 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 really. But I'm saying it's just it's funny how many people a medieval, want to over, overlook a the dark side. Of, <laughs> overlook the dark side of their past. A medieval culture <laughs> will still have medieval practices. That's just, of course. Yeah. I mean, but I don't know. Like that's I don't even understand how this is able to hold on. Like how are you able to hold on to such like, barbaric? Yeah. Like like seriously. At some point, we realize slavery is an issue. The whole world realized slavery was an issue. Let's not have it anymore. And slavery around the world is looked upon as a bad thing. <laughs> In the majority of countries, slavery is looked upon as a very bad thing. And the ones who still say slavery is okay, we look. everybody in the world looks at those countries like, yeah, we, we don't want to deal with you. Woo! Wanna... America! <laughs> slavery! <laughs> Well, I'm pretty sure you have people down there who wish that slavery was back. We we I know there are people that's in this country. That's because they didn't. You know what? That's because they're stupid and they didn't have to live through it. There's an issue, a psychological issue, where people sometimes can't make a connection because they're removed from it. And I agree. And and I, and I feel that that's a major issue, especially when it comes to religion. I see. I'm not against religion. I just don't want religion to have any put any input in society and religion. I think it's great as a form of human self expression, but yes. that's where it should stay. Again, religion, your religion begins and ends with you. I'm about to copyright that. I like that. I should get a shirt made that says that. Yeah, but it's probably somebody already said that. I don't care. I said it. Me. Quest. And I like the diversity. Like, 
you know, if you, it would be kind of boring if everyone you met was atheist. And it would be. Well, how you figure? Because the fact of the matter, when you're an atheist, only thing, requ- only thing that you need to require to be an atheist is a disbelief. Is a in disbelief God. in a god. No, I'm just and saying. And so like, they're they're atheists right now who believe in aliens. <laughs> but what I'm saying is, religion. Let's look on some of the. Since it's so easy to bash religion, let's. Let's have let's, some let's, good qualities. Let's, and pun intended, play the devil's advocate. Okay, so, I mean, religion's brought me a, a lot of things that I enjoy. Like, I enjoy religious-inspired music, like cl- classical music. Um, mm. I love uh, religious art. Like, when I go to, like, art museums, like, I think the medieval and renaissance art, which is religiously inspired, is some of the most beautiful, you know, art pieces I've ever seen. It's part of people's culture. I mean, religion has played a big role in even the African culture. Or food. It has, and the food. Especially the food. food. Like it pays a lot in culture. I'm not, like I said, I'm not bashing religion. I'm, I'm, what I'm bashing is the idea that if somebody disagrees with you, they must be punished. But, but the whole thing about it is, if you really look at it, it does inspire a lot, a lot of violence. I mean, look at, look at we can look at Boko Haram, we can look at ISIS um, um, over, over in the Arab. Um, I'm trying to think. Uh, who else wasn't the uh the the wait a minute wait a minute, wait a minute. I don't want to keep putting words in in, in my mouth but if, if there's been Christian terrorists here in oh of course look at Dylan Roof yeah <laughs> or um let's think about uh shoot I'm so bad at that the mass shootings a lot of these mass shootings they were. Consider Christians. I mean, a lot of these people were. were well, yeah. Hey, I mean, you know what? I, I kind of consider the Tea Party a, a form of terrorist. I mean, you, you, oftentimes they 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 infiltrate um, the government. They shut it down. They prevent it from d- doing its duties. They use fear monger. They yep, use fear mongering um, in order to to get their way. I wouldn't consider it terrorism. I just consider it. I mean, I, I, I really? consider it. I consider it like a somewhat extreme political. Oh, uh, how about how about the fact of the matter is that those Republicans who sent that letter over to Iran saying, "Hey, don't follow." Oh, that's treason. <laughs> oh, I, I consider that treason. You know, what I mean? treason. don't don't follow what President Obama saying about the about the Iran deal. Um, we're going to remove it once we get into power. That's true. How about the fact of the matter now is that they won't allow Obama to choose a Supreme Court justice because they're talking about he's in his last year where there's been, what, 22 times it's been done and then within the time that Obama has currently, he can choose three different candidates because it only takes 100 days. I think we're getting off the top of what we well, Just a little bit. All right, I'm sorry. <laughs> but it's okay, but it's okay. These are, well, these are things people should know. But... And mean people, well, how does that play into religion? Well, because for a time, um, the Bob the Bible was used by slave owners that we as black people are beasts of burden and that you should not mix races. It says that in the Bible in the Old Testament, you should not have you should not mix races. You should stick with your own kind. And that was a commonly used term and belief held that, that actually can't that was a, put into law that interracial relationships are a no no. Well, I think religious or not, most educated people don't take the Bible literally. I will hope that, and you know, I, and I hope that. But sadly, that's, that's it's not I don't the case. really, I don't really harp on the Bible too much because I don't, I don't consider it important. But the thing to, about it is, me. even most educational, people, educated people won't take it, um, it seriously. But you have a lot of people who are not educated and who 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 wholeheartedly believe in the literal translation of the bible Let's see. as as it being the truth do with they, capital T. Number, do they really though? Um yeah. what was the guy the Bill Meyer and Ham debate? Oh, uh, Bill Nye. Uh, Bill Nye, I'm sorry, I said Bill, Bill Nye and Ken Ken and Ken. Ken, Ken some people consider him well educated and he used some people would and he used to Bob Ken Ham. Some people consider him well educated. I'm not saying he is or he isn't. But he also was a was a Christian. And mm-hmm. He was a scientist, and he tried to push his science to make it seem like certain things in the Bible were real. But he but, doesn't even. I, I, you can we can fact check person, this, but I don't even believe that Ken Ham actually has a science degree. Really? He does. I, he does. I'll I'll, I'll, t- I'll at least I'll give him that. But in what? It, even even. Oh, I don't know, but I, I saw the debate. Gonna I saw the debate a couple of years ago. I don't remember. We are, yeah, that needs to get pulled up. But um, pull that up. The point is, he's one person. I'm saying in general, most educated people don't take the Bible literally. 
I mean, most people take it as something that's been religiously inspired. But that's the thing. The but that's why I don't... I, I don't, I don't say, I, but that's not even... The, the I'm, I'm, see, I'm more of a philosophical atheist, so I don't harp on particular things coming from the Bible. It, it's To me, it's about, it's about as ludicrous as sitting there quoting I mean, Shakespeare. And, no, what I'm saying is, I'm not saying I have a thing against the Bible. I'm not. The Bible is just a book. I can't have any anger or emotion towards a book. What I'm saying is, what I disagree with is when people use the Bible to justify their actions, then on top of that, follow these things. Like, I'll give you an example. This young man I knew, right? You know, parents were Christians, all that good stuff. They gave tithes every Sunday, but some days, some one Sunday, one particular time in his life, they didn't know when they was going to eat for dinner. Mm -hmm. And the money that they could have bought food with, they gave to tithes in the sense that, well, God is going to send it back to me tenfold. That is where I have a problem with. With situations like that, well, that's with, just stupidity. But that's the problem. But that that still ties on point of this person who had that much, put that much faith into something that's a book or that. I into, can't blame that on religion. I just blame I, down stupidity. No, like, I'm people, I blame it on both. You you take a religion away, you're still gonna have stupid people who do make it rational. And I agree, decisions. but religion just makes it but easier. I just think people, to justify people compartmentalize this. I mean, they compartmentalize and say, well. Religion doesn't have nothing to do with science. But then, every time you turn around, they want to say, well, science doesn't know what they're talking about. Well, yes, they do, because they gave us the basically the Western civilization as we know it, you know, between lights and between... Video games. Video games, space exploration, all this genetic um, stuff that we use for medicine and the food that we eat. Come on, you, you walk around and you... All you see is science all around you, but then you turn around and say, "Well, God did it." Not no. even, not even this case. Let's 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 travel back in time a little bit, back before we had these great medical advances. You well before we get there. Remember you tell me a story about how was it Mormons? I think that you said won't allow their kids to get medical go to the hospital when they're sick because no, it goes it's not Mormon. Not it's, Mormon. It's, it's Christian Scientists. Christian Science. Yeah, that's what it was. I'm sorry. That they won't let their kids go to a hospital to receive medical attention because they believe in faith healing, right? Yeah. They, they believe that um, all diseases are a, a figment of your imagination. And by you seeing the disease and getting sick, that, um, that means that you're falling. You're not, you're not close enough to God. And basically, you need to pray and it will, and it will go away. And in the case of children, it's, it's the parents' sin that... That's that's causing the disease, and and to me it's it's so crazy that you will sit back, and allow yourself to de deteriorate and die horrible deaths. Um, I mean, I'm more concerned for the kids though because they don't have a say in this. Yeah, but you know what? And then also because some of the state laws. I mean, well, that's like a current kind of legal stuff. debate now. Is should parents have the right to dictate the health of the kids based on their religious faith? And there's some judges who lean one way or the other. So, eventually that's going to become a Supreme Court decision. Mm. Personally, no. As a parent, I don't think you, you have the right to choose your child's faith. And for one thing, how is your child, why well, are you trying to choose your child's faith anyway? Your child can't make a decision if something is important if, 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 you're, if you believe in it uh, as, as your soul where, your soul, where that child's soul is going to rest. You don't even have a concept of it. Well, it depends on it, because the Bible says raise your ch stay your child in the way that he should go and something, something, something. That's called indoctrination. I agree. I, I agree. That, that's that's not really given. The, that's not even the actual true choice. You actually remove choice out of the equation because you are constantly influencing and influencing and influencing, and this is all the child ever sees. And then you try to introduce something different after the child becomes an an adult and aware of the things and then you're going to get major resistance there's no way to actually say well you truly love me because of this no you was just brought up to to think that you love me like how do you like i ask people how do you know that you actually love god especially when you've never met him and that only thing you've been told is that you better love him and it doesn't even make sense to love him because you've never met him one. And why would you want to meet someone who's going to allow... Why would you love someone who will allow you to fall into harm? And again, who gives a shit what the Bible thinks? I'm sorry. But that's how I feel right now, people. But yeah, because the thing is, people... 
quote the Bible, and like I said, both atheists and theists get into these pointless debates over biblical interpretation, and both of them missed the point that even the people back then when it was written probably didn't take this stuff literally. No, I mean, look. I'm, it's a, well, I would say it's an open question. Right, I, I'm, I'm, I'm not but arguing. But it's only now that fundamentalists take this stuff seriously. verbatim. But I'm, there's, there's an open question whether even the people in that time actually took it literally or well, just took the it issue, as common. No, I'm not, I'm not I, arguing. I'm just saying the issue here in America. In America, did you have seventy percent of the population with um, an really an unmeasurable number within that seventy percent who take it literally, and mm. and 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 do things because of it? Matter well, fact, fundamentalists we are we have a, by, we, by we definition have a, taken. Literally. Yeah, but we have a whole race right now that basically, once you said that you're an atheist, black people will disown you. Oh, I know, <laughs> but that's we both a, know this. But that's but, a, but that's mean, a problem. But, but Wait, wait. I'm not arguing whether the Bible should be the interpretation of it. I don't really care because right. it's a book. You can take it any way you want to. That's that's just my point. I read the Bible. All right, cool. It has some good stuff in it. It has some bad stuff in it. Do I have to take this stuff literally? No. But I could take some good out of it. Discard the rest. Bruce Lee. But <laughs> <laughs> but what I'm saying is, again, it's not People so much. Saying, Bruce Lee didn't say that. Stop talking about Bruce Lee. Shut up, bitch. <laughs> <laughs> but no, what I'm saying is this. He said that. I did. And he did. But anyway, the point I'm trying to make is, <laughs> the point I'm trying to make is that no matter what, at the end of the day, your faith at the end should not dictate how you treat people. That's the bottom line. You like you said, I have Chris, I have friends who are Muslim, mm -hmm. a friend of mine is, is a Buddhist, you two are atheists. Um, I have another friend. I don't know what the fuck he is. So, but I accept people who they are. Your your faith does not dictate to me your character. I look at your character before I look at your faith. Your faith that's a personal thing. That's like if you're gay, that's a personal thing. That has nothing to do with how you treat me or how I treat you. It has nothing to do with that. Absolutely nothing. So until we start. And many people want to say, well, yeah, Martin Luther King said we should judge by the character and blah, blah, blah. No, it's, you, you should always judge by the character, not when it's only convenient for you. So mm -hmm. ju just look at that character. That's it. Simple. They, are, are there bad atheists out there? Matter of fact, somebody had this argument with me that, well, Christians aren't just bad. You have bad people who are atheists. Atheists do something. And I yeah, totally I agree. agree. But is it because they're atheists they did something or is that they're just a fucked up person that they did it? And that's when we got checked. I'm not saying because a Christian did something that all Christians are bad or he's bad because he's... No. You were just a fucked up individual and you just used Christianity as an excuse to do what you did. Same way I would say for an atheist, a Muslim, a Buddhist, a Hinduist, um, a, Shinzu, a Shinzu priest. I consider all you... I judge you by your character. Okay. Until we get to that point where we develop as a, a species to be more intelligent in a perfect world. Yes, I know you're going to say be pragmatic. I see it coming. Shut the fuck up. He didn't even say anything. I felt it. God, just I felt it. He didn't even say anything. I, I saw her. I, I saw him. I saw you it. Should, in his you should apologize. Fuck yeah, that's all in his face. I wasn't even thinking. It. <laughs> you were. I was thinking of something completely different. Oh, your imaginary girlfriend. Getting back. To you. <laughs> <laughs> I'm sorry, imaginary girlfriend. Anyway, <laughs> she's real. I can actually see and hear her. <laughs> That's called schizophrenia. <laughs> well, you've seen her too, so, you, so we must all be. That's called Photoshop. So let me ask you a question. <laughs> let me ask you a question, Lamont, um, okay. because you you tell. I'm, I'm I'm actually speaking for uh, someone who was here. Wait, can we have a moment of pray that God turns this water into wine? No, I'm talking. Is... <laughs> for real, one I'm... second. Come on, let me give him. Let I'm me sorry. ask him this question. I'm really interested. Please in tell the group. What, what's his thought? Okay. Um, all right. So, um, you know, one one of our hosts that you hadn't had a chance to to meet. I've heard her. Uh, Miss Jada. Uh -huh. uh, oh, so you listened? Did you listen to I listen. the... Okay. So, she is saying, basically, um, that if you believe... That God is an eternal thing. And have you ever believed in God before? Yeah. Before? Okay. So, for you... Was it an an eternal an, an internal voice that was telling you what you should and shouldn't do, no. right? Was or anything guiding you along those lines? I, I believed in God just because that was that, it, it, it was just the way I was brought up until I was able to question it. 
Okay. I didn't even know what an atheist was. I remember once asking my father about it because I saw the term in a Washington Post article once, and I asked him, and he gave me some some snarky response and never really answered my question. But um, yeah, I just accepted the the God was real just because by default I thought that's what you were taught. That's what I was taught, so, and I sustained it. And, you know, it it. it it wasn't something that I questioned. I mean, it, it, you know, I, I had a lot of sketchy beliefs when I was younger, that being one of them. Um, you believed in the two-fair? No. I, ironically, I didn't believe in, like, Santa Claus or two-fair or anything like that. I used to find my gifts. Anyway, that's getting off the subject. But, yeah, I believed in God until I was about 18 and 19. Mm -hmm. And ironically, what you guys were talking about with John Little, a uh, book about Bruce Lee's uh, philosophies and, and so forth, it's one of the first books I read that actually made me think about it. And, like, for a few days, I went over it. I was like, Bruce Lee's atheist? And that's when I, you know, realized what atheist meant. And I thought about it for a few days. And, you know, I had, like, I guess one of those moments where, you know, where, like, I don't know how you can call it. I'm not... Like making myself like Saul that became Paul when he found the light on the road to Damascus. You fell to like the that. dark side. But, 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 no, but no, I just I just thought about it and I had like this little mental pain. No, he saw the atheist light. Shut up. <laughs> no, I just had this mental pain like you get like when you're like working out something in your head, and I was like, yeah, it's kind of true. I just don't. There's there's nothing there. Okay. And that's and it just went on from there. Can I, so can I ask you the same thing, Quest? Because mm -hmm. you being a theist right now, do you feel like there is an internal voice, like, outside of your own, um, that's guiding you? There's a lot of us in here, man. Which one you want to talk to? <laughs> and that's kind of the point. When she said, when, when I heard her saying that, I would have just said, you know, it's all psychological. I mean, I mean, and, and if anything, there's, there's a, a psychiatric evaluation that people get when they're, um, being a you know assessed for for having um, a mental illness called right. the the MMPI two, right. and one of the basic ways that you will be classified as being mentally ill is says, do I hear voices? You say yes, you are mentally ill. <laughs> What's the, so What's it called again? The MMPI two. I think it's called the Minnesota the Minnesota uh, multi uh, multi phasal person. No, multi something. We'll, we'll find it. I mean, I got, I got it down. We're going. But um, anyway, I'm just saying, if someone say it's internal, then basically they're, they're saying it's psychological. I mean, but, and in that case, there's no reason to believe whatsoever. That, but so you know, hey, this is not no no bash to to Miss Jada. No, no, I'm not bashing. I'm I'm, I'm just saying. For I'm, someone, just, I'm just saying. A lot of Ms. stuff. Miss Jada's gonna come on here and be like, look. Who was that? Okay. Who, how are you gonna come at me like this? No, I'm not bashing you. Let me let me read him. I'm a, just saying, a of words. if you say it's internal, that's just saying it's psychological. Oh, but there's right. but there's no there's no reason so outside you, of the, of taking it on faith that that, that you, there's. So you God. you're you're like of the mindset basically. Um, if you're hearing voices, you you need to go get. And any other con yes, because because of the relic the deep. And this is brought up by the meta, meta atheism, which I know you guys talked about before. Mm -hmm. well. Thank you. For, I'll, I'll bring that up. But in thank a you second. for putting me on to that. But uh, <laughs> yeah, so in any other context other than the deeply religious historical context of Christianity or Judaism or so forth, in any other context, if you said you were hearing hearing some something or someone internally, you would be considered uh, mentally unbalanced. Now, before you continue, remember I brought that point up with Jada, Miss Jada. No, I brought that point up, right? I also asked at that point. All right, now, what you ask me if I do I hear a voice? There's many of us in here. We are legion. For we are many. But, no, just getting on track, just a joke. Um, was there a voice? I remember I had, like I said, at one time, I, I was deeply into Christianity. That was where I was brought up in. I have family who are ministers, pastors, and mm -hmm. elders, and this great hierarchy of this... <laughs> criminal organization called the church. <laughs> Wait a minute, you gotta be specific. Is it Catholic or Protestant? They're they're Protestants. Okay, which one? Yeah. Which one? So those are know. those are more like blue collar embezzling. Yeah, I got you. <laughs> <laughs> you know, Cavs are more known for child pedophilia, human trafficking, and all that good yeah, stuff. Yeah, like torture. Yeah, I got you. <laughs> 
But um, I remember I, I did have a dream once. Um, like I said, does it have any significance? I don't know. Like I said, I do believe there's something. Do I know what it is? No. And as I got, it just took me time as I got older. Um, I started researching more about my own history and my cultural background and things of that nature. And things didn't sit right with me. I remember I went to my grandfather's Bible study and they were talking about the Bible. And I asked him a question. So about when they said people go to hell and all that, they were talking about that. So I asked him, so where does a, a baby go? Do babies go to heaven? I mean, how could a baby sin? Even though the Bible says we're all born in the sin, how can a baby sin? They're, they don't, they haven't done anything. They just came out the vagina. What, what could they, what could they possibly do? Mm -hmm. Coming out the vagina. <laughs> and he was like, yeah, they go to heaven. And I'm just like, well, not according to this. The Bible didn't say, you know, we're all born to sin. Except babies. Babies are innocent. They didn't do anything. They get a free pass. It didn't say that. It just says we're all born in the sin. And since they weren't, quote unquote, gave their life back to God, they didn't have a choice in this. They, they don't even understand that concept. What happens to them? Now you have some people that say purgatory, what the case may be. But moving on, mm -hmm. um, we was reading some scripture. I, I had to get the name of it. It was during the story of Moses and um, slavery. Okay. And the, by what the Bible's talking about, how because they had other idols that, you know, people from another land would come and dominate them. Um, they would turn their men against their women, their women against their children. And, I, and, and for a brief moment, like, I felt as though, you know, that this was our penance as a, as a people mm -hmm. for disobeying God. Like, I, I, for a brief moment. I'm I, talking about I, the so-called curse of Ham. I think that's what it was. I, I for a brief for a brief minute I really felt that was a penance that you know black people are going to be enslaved and this is going to happen because that's our penance for going against God, and and as I and as I sort of thought more about it and I learned more I talked to different people I read the Bible I did my own research and I found like this can't be right I, I can't I can't get with this I, I I cannot subscribe to this to this theory I can't more for my own personal morals I can't. Mm -hmm. Now, what I say, with some voice telling me to do something, I wouldn't say that. I just felt, like I said, I, I don't get me wrong. I did enjoy going to some churches. I felt I liked the vibe. The people were nice. You know, I like that kind of energy. Doesn't mean I had to subscribe to what you're saying just because I like your company. You still go to church now, Chris? Huh? Yeah, that's it. Mm -hmm. And they got they got pretty women. <laughs> <laughs> that's true. Well, let me address so. Like I was saying, I listened to the, the first uh, podcast about atheism, and I, was, I saw you brought up the, the meta-atheism. That's actually a view brought up by my professor, George Ray. George is Ray. Or it's, is it George? It's George. It's, it's French. The S is silent? Yeah. Okay. Sorry about that, Professor Ray. Messed that up. <laughs> but um, in any case, he was basically saying that meta-atheism is a view that it's not that clear that anyone genuinely believes in God who comes from a Western, a Western education background. Mm -hmm. And that was the gist of it. And then he wrote an, an article that, that espouses on it more. Because one, he goes into a little bit of epistemology where we make the distinction between genuine beliefs and avowables or avowals, which means um, something someone sincerely might say or think as opposed to genuinely believe because something you genuinely believe actually re reflects in your behavior where something you avow might be for whatever whatever reason and a good example between a genuine belief and simply an avow is someone who's, who would avow that I don't believe in ghosts but in the dark if they see something sketchy then they jump and run in fear which <laughs> which obviously uh, defeats their their vow that they don't believe in ghosts because their genuine belief is actually that they believe in ghosts mm -hmm. from their behavior. So that's the distinction between belief and vows. And he was saying on some level, and this you know this is left for maybe someone in, in the psychological field to discover, is that on some level that we probably most like I said most Westernized people with at least a high school education probably don't genuinely believe in God. Mm -mm. And you look and you see that in, in and there's different things that, that, that bring this up, like when people die and you mourn at their funeral, why should you mourn someone's death if they're going off to a higher place, a better place? 
Oh, why but, not just but, kill but yourself? You, or when you pray, almost most people don't pray for things they know can't really happen. You don't pray for for dear old grandma to come back. Uh-huh. Because you know it's not gonna happen. When if you have if you have a vet that lost your legs in the war, you don't pray for your legs to come back because you know it can't happen. Or how about because um, they met you and they talked to an atheist when they pray for you? Excuse me, when they pray for you to be um, to to get delivered from God, then it should be that. You know what I mean? It should be like okay, deliver to excuse me, deliver come back to the fold or or start believing in God. Or turn away from your devilish say atheism. Yeah. So why? Why? I mean, obviously they don't believe that. For one thing, that Jesus's power is actually all that great, or or even capable of turning you sometimes because they all up in your face about it. Well, I got a question as, as, for you two as atheists. For you two as atheists, if when people say I'm gonna pray for you to come back to the fold or believe in God, right? Mm-hmm. When they say, or when they say, well, you're idiot because that's the work of the devil. That doesn't make sense because, well, the devil made you an atheist. But by default, if you don't believe in God, you don't believe in the devil. So what does the devil gain from that? A lot of people confuse atheism with Satanism. I had a person I dated in college who, when they realized I was atheist from one of my social web pages, <laughs> but I think- uh, they they concluded that I must be satanic and that was just ludicrous to me. I was like, well, I'm atheist. I don't believe in any of the above, but that... But I think they, I think they might equate it because of Anton LaVey uh, Satanism. No, most religious people have no idea who Anton LaVey is. No. I don't even know. I didn't even know who Anton LaVey is. Well, no, no, not, not in the sense of that he's an atheist, but they no, say... No, mo- what it is is most people can't wrap their heads around the fact that you just don't believe in something that isn't... There. Paranormal. Like... They think if you don't believe in God, then by default you must believe in the devil or something derivative of that sort. It doesn't. It doesn't. For you, certain you, for certain people who don't who can't think that abstractly, it doesn't. It doesn't. You, it doesn't. It just doesn't catch on to them. You, that you just don't. Or you, white. you just don't <laughs> believe in any sort of supernatural phenomena, whatsoever. Yeah. So, and I mean, because besides being an atheist, I'm also what you call a naturalist. I'm listening. And, um, you know, naturalists basically believe in some sort that, you know, every explanation can be, should should have some sort of scientific explanation for that phenomena. If it doesn't, then it's probably not real. Uh, are you a humanist as well? Um, well, I guess secular humanism is, is okay. I don't really claim it. Um, I think secular humanism is just a, is a, a way for people to say to call themselves atheists without using atheists. That's what I, that's what I think secular I mean, humanism basically is. To me, I mean, I don't... It's, it's just, it's just, it just sounds nicer than atheism. I'm a humanist. <laughs> so I mean, humanism, by well, what I looked up... It, but but it you have different... Like, like, you have two different... Like I said, you have secular humanism and you have spiritual humanism. And I think, um, like, with the Center for Inquiry and the... Um, and the Committee for Skeptical Inquiry and, and those big organizations, like a lot of the people there consider themselves secular humanists. And but I think that's a, it's, it's different. I think, it, I, think that's, I think it's a difference between just being an atheist because you can be a secular humanist and still believe, and, and still believe in the God. You can. But you can't. There's, um, but atheism, the only thing that requires you to be an atheist is for you not to believe in any God. Yeah, you know, so like I mean, secular humanism to me, I don't even know why they even lump that as a bad thing because all you do is you believe in the power of humanity. You believe in going out, being charitable to your neighbors, and and Aren't, those are good things that the Bible teaches you to do. <laughs> the, the, the the humanism by the fall, but, bec- <laughs> but because God didn't say it, it must be bad. It must be bad. You you want to define. That. What the the lamest term for secular humans? No, no, I understand what humanism is. I'm okay. just saying. Well, maybe the audience doesn't. Well, yeah. hum- I'll give you the definition. And humanism is an outlook or system of thought attaching prime importance to human rather than the divine or supernatural matters. Humanist beliefs stress the potential value and goodness of human beings, emphasize common human needs, and seek solely rational ways of solving of solving human problems. And also, let me say, so meta atheism isn't a view of atheism. It's a, it's actually a an epistemic view of saying that people, most people, don't genuinely believe in God who come from a Western 
educational background. If they really thought about it. That's fair. That's fair. Alright, that's a good talk. Yeah. Glad we had it. Alright. So, once again, we've come to the end. You can catch the show on Facebook.com slash AskLearnQuestion. Email is AskLearnQuestion at gmail.com. Uh, you can find us on YouTube. Let me ask you a question with the question marks. If you search channel, it'll be right at the top. Um, check us out. Follow us on Twitter. Twitter, we need to really, ask, really learn good. question. <laughs> at ask, Just learn, learn question. question. Well, everybody, really everybody, everybody uses Twitter. Twitter. They know they put the at sign in front of it. Okay. But anyway. We're millennials. We know yeah, this. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So put more tweets out there, Quest. I have been. All right. Then. <laughs> All right. Thanks for watching. Thanks for listening. Catch you later.